three bullet holes in the windscreen of a silver Audi and at the centre of an investigation into how police came to shoot a man dead. Forensic officers have photographed and plotted out this scene. The Audi seemingly pinned to a stop by a Mercedes pulling in front of it just off the motorway. West Yorkshire police say the fatal shooting happened during a pre-planned operation linked to information about criminal possession of a firearm. Shahnaz Malik lives directly above the scene and was one of the first to see what was happening. It was very surreal. Everything was like at a standstill. Just very, no movement, no nothing. And that moment just, it seemed like as though it was out of a film and you're, that you're in a dream. And then just as quiet as it was, then there was a lot of sort of commotion. It's really quite uh, upsetting to be honest, you know. I can't, you know, that somebody's actually died in that car. The man who died was Mohammed Yasser Yakub. His family issued a brief statement saying they are in shock and are distraught. Their solicitor arrived as friends and relatives gathered at the family home just a few miles from where the shooting happened. Fatal police shootings are rare in this country, but questions will be asked about the planning of this operation. The case has automatically been referred to the Independent Police Complaints Commission. It's very important. The, the public perception has got to be correct. This was not a pre-planned operation in that they were planning to kill somebody in that vehicle. It was a pre-planned operation to try to arrest them without violence. You know, the, the risk of it going wrong was covered and fortunately nobody outside that vehicle was injured. Three arrests were made here, a further two in Bradford and police have confirmed that no officers were wounded.